My name is Chuck Cox and I wanted to talk today about our recent upcoming publication in stem cells entitled Autologous Bone Marrow Mononuclear Cells for the Treatment of Severe Traumatic Brain Injury in Adults. This study is one that was conducted at UT Health and uh, Memorial Hermann Hospital in Houston in which Adults who suffered a severe traumatic brain injury were treated within the first 48 hours using their own bone marrow derived mononuclear cells in an attempt to downregulate the neuroinflammatory response and improve structural preservation and uh, ultimately clinical outcomes after severe traumatic brain injury. This was a phase 1 slash 2A clinical trial. We demonstrated that this approach was safe, both the harvest and infusion. Uh, but importantly, our primary outcome measure, structural preservation, uh, demonstrated that there are some regions of interest in which the usual loss of brain uh, structural uh, areas was preserved, and this was a really an exciting finding. We also showed that this is correlated with improvements in their neurocognitive outcome when mapped to specific regions of the brain, uh, specifically the corpus callosum. That combined with the downregulation of pro-inflammatory cytokines all really mimicked our preclinical work and is serving as the launch pad for our phase two clinical trials that are about to begin within the next few weeks. We think this approach is really one of modulating the innate immune response to injury. This uh, cell therapy strategy really is not one of cell replacement. Rather, this is one of dampening this secondary brain injury that's driven by uh, microglia and infiltrating uh, monocytes and macrophages that serve to increase the swelling in the brain uh, increase the inflammatory response in the brain. This entire approach is designed to down-regulate that. We think the field is really going towards this as a strategy. The thing about traumatic brain injury as opposed to stroke or other focal neurological injuries is it's a diffuse injury and it's not amenable to a direct injection of uh, any type of cellular therapeutic. And that's why the intravenous administration functioning through secondary messenger cells really is a more attractive strategy for this diffuse brain injury. That, um, as well as other bone marrow derived cells, uh, may serve as a, as a viable therapeutic option in the future. For more information and details about our clinical trial, you can check the publication that's coming up in stem cells and then for our future trials, clinicaltrials.gov.